What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and to this quick overview of DJ Swivel's newest plugin, Spread. And this is a pretty cool plugin because it's a multi-band spread and um, it's quite cool that you have a roll-off um, for the super low end just to get rid of anything that's unpleasant in the sides and it's variable uh, crossovers for the, for the multi-band so it's quite a powerful um, plugin and I see this being used on a master bus I just want to see what it can do to the stereo image uh, when it comes to full mix so uh, what I have set up here is a track of mine it's called walk and sounds like this I also have the Vox Single Correlometer on this just to make sure that the model compatibility is good. And I also have this thing here, the Klanghelm View Meter. And the reason for this is just to make sure that it's a fair comparison because when you add the spread, it tends to boost the signal. So you can be a bit tricked by that level jump. Uh, and obviously you're boosting a lot of frequencies, uh, especially on the sides. So what's going to happen is the level is going to go up. So I have here uh, this setup and it's probably going to need like minus two just to compensate. So we know we're not fooling ourselves by just thinking that because it's louder, it sounds bad. So let's see what this plugin can do. I'm going to take these out for now, get a cool sound and then see what's happening in terms of uh, phase and level. So let's start off with the roll off on the low end and you have an audition button here. I think that helps just to keep things a bit contained there. And the next thing I'll do is take a look at the low end uh, on the low frequency here. So I think 500 is probably a bit high as a crossover for this. I'm gonna solo this, um, the band and see what we can get with this. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. And what I tend to do with the spectrum in general is kind of have a sort of funnel so the higher you go the wider it is and let's see if that can be achieved with this I like that but you can see here that it's uh, going a bit above that minus five that we started with so it's it already has like seven in it minus seven so let's add that in okay i like that let's see what we can do with the mids Okay, let's see what we can do with the highs. see what happens in terms of phase okay so it's a bit phasey at around 1k okay but that was part of the mix so it actually ends up helping it so let's put it in mono and put it to the test Okay, 
yeah, you can hear a bit of the top end disappearing. So obviously, you're boosting it even more in the sides, and that information cancels out. But overall, there isn't that much of a difference in mono compatibility. So I'm kind of liking what that does in mono. Let's hear it as a fair comparison in stereo. <laughs> It muffles the sound a bit. Let's see if we trim it back a bit. It does change the sonic quality of it a bit, but overall it's it's a different sound. I can't say that I like it over the um, original mix, but uh, that one already had some sort of um, stereo thing going with the Waves S1, so you're kind of amplifying that even more, but it's not causing phase issues as you can see with, uh, when I engage the, um, the box single meter. And it's interesting that it, it seems to affect it even in, in an EQ way, just because things start canceling each other out, but by doing that you get to a point where it sounds different but not worse or better, it's just different. So I don't know, <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't use it on this type of stuff, but I can see it being used on mixes that need that extra width. This one probably doesn't, but I thought it would be a good example to just see it in kind of a real life situation. But uh, let me know what you think about this, if you use it, if you, uh, and if you didn't, just check it out because the demo is free, it's like 10 days, and you can try it on a bunch of different things. Uh, it's a cool plugin, the fact that it has valuable cross uh, crossover frequencies and you can solo everything and whatnot. You have that low uh, cut in the sides, I think makes this a pretty cool plugin that has many features. And now if you grab it, it's like, I don't know, like $15 or even less, uh, depending on where you get it. So I highly recommend you at least uh, download the demo and check it out for yourselves. In the meantime, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video and thanks a lot for watching.